What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'm uh, champion of Bladehold, hero of the, of the Oxid Ridge. I'm going to be doing a vintage cube draft today, and we're going to be doing a stipulation draft by Doomsday1981. The stipulation is that we take angels, titans, and swords. Uh, we're prioritizing those. And then power, of course, uh, trumps the stipulation. So if we get power, we take the power. But, um, you know. We're going to take Angels, Swords, and Titans. That's what it is. The ATS stipulation, as, as we call it. Okay, well, that stipulation is not correct, but... Pessimistic Pingu, three months in a row. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right, updated the updated the stip command. So, water sports drew nine months in a row. Boy, I was wondering where you were, buddy, and now you're back. Wow, rude, Josh. Real rude. Gunners, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Seven out of eight. Why are people taking their sweet time? All right. Erdothor, thank you so much for two months in a row. I really appreciate it. You guys are great. All right, we got we have a sword in this pack. I don't want to take it over a mana drain, but we got a stipulation, boys. You got to do what you got to do. Is mana drain power, though? It feels like it. Um, like, because obviously Soul Ring is unofficial power. Um, Library of Alexandria, I don't know if that's in the cube, is unofficial power, so... Um, but otherwise, it is sword, no titans, no angels. Okay. Okay. Mana drain is not power. Mana drain is powerful. Seems like power. So, all right. So, there is a little bit of a... Hist, Corey. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I'm going to I'm gonna hold... I'm going to reserve the sword. And uh, if Doomsday... Agrees or disagrees. Roadkill89, thank you so much for six months in a row. Really appreciate it. Kyle with 48 months in a row. Avacyn's Pilgrim, not so much power. All right, so it looks like, it looks like we're taking the sword here. Uh, Frost Titan would have went well with our, uh, our mana drain. Okay. <clears throat> Doomsday with the sub. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, or Sun Titan, actually. I think I like Sun Titan better because of the swords. Thank you. Snoozlemoo, thank you so much for the sub. What's going on? Look at this sub train. My God! Hope you guys are getting. Hope you guys got your tickets because it's pulling out of the station right now. Jite is a sword, but Sun Titan is a real sword. I'm a real sword. All right. So when there's nothing, I assume I'm free to take whatever I like, like a Demon Lord Bells Unlock. Whoa! Sorry about your hiccups, buddy. Sorry about your hiccups. Or am I? I almost like Sylvan Carry added because this is a deck where we're going to be playing a bunch of different things. Rakdos Signet is not as good. I would also rather take Breeding Pool just because I'd rather have a land that fixes than, than a Signet that, that fixes. Um, and you guys are saying Signet or Carry out. I'm saying Breeding Pool. That's pretty funny. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to take the Breeding Pool. Dual lands are good. Blightsteel Colossus is like a Titan. It's not like a Titan at all. Scarab God is, is pretty big. 
Uh, I would take duplicate, but since we're since we have a stipulation of angels and titans, I don't really want to take that many expensive cards. Um, scarab god. Okay, so the scarab god is black, 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 blue. This land is green, blue, and this is white. So this is if we take scarab god, we're probably on four colors here. <clears throat> Flicker wisp is pretty reasonable with sun titan. It's also evasive. I like the idea of getting titans and angels back with the scarab god, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if that's good. Scarab God's also very good in the cube, I think. Um, Scarab God's good in all formats, let's be real. Actually, this is harder because I'm having to plan for the future. I'm going to take the Flicker Wisp here. Demonic Tutor, that's kind of like power. I like Eternal Witness, especially with Sun Titan. That's pretty good. We're also green already. Yeah, we can't really ditch white because we're the, the goal is to play angels and titans, and if we're not playing white, uh, we're probably not playing many angels. So, uh, I'm gonna go with Eternal Witness. I would like Demonic Tutor a lot, but um, it's black, and then we're four colors. Also, this yeah, Outlier is right. This is actually any Demonic Tutor that's in your is is this any angel titan or sword that's in your deck. What up, China Bull? I'm going to take this Eternal Witness. This is a Sphinx, thank goodness. I don't want to have to take this guy, because... Or do I? No. I always hope this is Garrick Wildspeaker, and it's always Garrick Relentless, and I get real sad every single time. Voice of Resurgence. Arid Mesa could be good, but... Well, now Tudor's going sixth, because we took Eternal Witness, so... How, how have I been since yesterday? Pretty good, pretty good. How about you, Matthew? Why would I take Wasteland? I don't think Wasteland's very good. I also don't want to be uh, sacrificing my own mana ramping for... Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Leovold. Leovold, I might, I might actually consider playing... All right, that's pretty good. Oblivion Ring is also pretty good. God, Leovold, why do you forsake me so? We're not blue yet. We just have a breeding pool. Oblivion Ring is fine. Ah, oh, so I see the problem. Nightbot and MTG Bot are both responding to the stipulation command. Let me see if I can go to Nightbot and delete that command. Yeah, as much as I want the level, it's got to be... Oh, Savannah. That's nice. Also, Phantasmal Image with, with Sun Titan. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? I think we're going to have to be Phantasmal Imaging here. That's like the the MVP right there. Knight of White Orchid. The, um, to the, you, you guys might be surprised, but the, um, the Manager did not come back. Hmm. Is either Supreme Verdict or Knight of the White Orchid? Actually, it could be Day of Judgment's probably better than Supreme Verdict here. Oh, Frailies. Hmm. I do like a Frailies, probably more than most. I'm going to take the Frailies. Song of the Dryad's also pretty good with, uh, with Sun Titan if they end up killing the thing. Also, Duplicant came back. I want to take Duplicant. I think it's probably the better. Ooh, Taiga is pretty good. Just in case. Is it just Acidic Slime? Maybe. I'll take the Taiga. Oh, Xenagos? Alright. Well, that worked out. I feel like we take we take, uh, we take take Acidic Slime too frequently. And we're, we might have a bunch of 5 drops, so... Oh, Tiger's terrible. Oh, that's actually pretty okay. Genesis Wave could be reasonable. Alright, we got Nahiri, Tamiyo, and Sister Vision. No power. We're Restoration Angel, though. Actually, that's a pretty good angel. So, no, no, no. 
Snap Resto. All right. Actually, I don't, I don't mind taking that, especially with Thrag Tusk, Sun Titan, Flicker Wisp, Eternal Witness. Like, Arctic is actually pretty good for uh, for a Resto here. Uh, I don't see any Titans or any Angels. I think I'm just going to take this. Oh, there's a sword. Oh, and a Linvala. All right. All right. This guy's kind of like a Titan. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite swords, so I'm actually not terribly inconvenienced to have to take it. And we got this breeding pool. It's perfect. It's just perfect. Uh, Matthew, we have a stipulation. We can't just take we can't just take judgment. Yeah, I'd rather have the sword than the. Well, I wanted to make sure there wasn't a better pick, especially because Jace is double blue, and it is the cube. So Jace's power level is a little lower than it usually would be. I got a Bane Slayer Angel. I'm gonna take a Bane Slayer Angel. That's a strong card. I, I hope this Bird of Paradise comes back, but I don't think it will. I actually like how our deck looks. I really just want some some sort of ramp here, though. So, no, no, no. You're probably the pick. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're just going to take Psalm Simulacrum here. Sundering Titan isn't a real Titan. At least I didn't consider it a real Titan. Yeah, I, I, I think Doomsday meant uh, six mana titans. Sun Titan, Grave Titan, Frost Titan. I would consider Warm Coil Engine a titan. I would not consider Sundering Titan. He just has titan in the name. It's not even a titan, it's a construct. Well, this is a giant, I guess, so I guess that doesn't really... That argument doesn't hold water, but you get the point. Erebus's titan is also not a titan. It's Yeah, I'm going by the spirit of the draft, not the actual... Not the written letter of the draft, so... Is it sad that I'm actually hoping we don't get other like a red titan or a black titan because it makes our deck so much worse? Are storm cards titans or are they swords? <laughs> oh, they're actually angels, dummy. Remember the Titans is a good movie. I've tried to get friends to watch that recently. That is an enjoyable film. I tried to get someone to watch it. I forgot who it was, and they were like, I don't really like sports movies. And I was like, it's barely a sports movie. Like, I mean, the background is football, but is there any chance that our next pack can come, or do we just have to? Opie is in it. There's a young Opie from Sons of Anarchy in it. That's true. Oh, wow. I really want this Control Magic or this Ugin, but I have to take this Sword of War and Peace, which is the worst sword ever. That's real sad. Sort of war and peace it is. Got to honor. Don't look back. Oh, I like a Rafelos. Do I like a Rafelos in this deck? I think I like Celestia Signet better in this deck, actually. This doesn't look like we're going to have a ton of forests in, and this is also fixing, so... I'm going to take this Celestia Signet. I don't see any 
angels or swords, right? Um, master seems good. Yeah, master seems fine. That was a late Rafellos, though. I am surprised at that in general. What up, Denmark? I'm going to just update the... I'm going to update the, the stream title with Stip, because people keep asking what the Stip is, and I'm just like... Uh, J Light Ranger seems good. I Ideally, that Misty Rainforest will come back, but I don't foresee that happening in any universe, so... Oh, Findhorn Elves and a Reclamation Sage. Ooh, I like both of these. We have a Fraley's for artifacts. We can probably we have an O-ring too. I'll probably take the Findhorn Elves. Ramping to three seems pretty relevant. You guys like clamp over Findhorn Elves? I don't think like. Oh, the Council Judgment came back. That's pretty gas. Definitely like that better than, uh, like, we have a ton of card advantage. Card advantage, card, ad essentially card advantage, uh, probably card advantage, card advantage, card advantage. Oh, the birds came back? Please. Like, I, I think we're, like, I don't want to say we're not a clamp deck because that's not what that, you know, we went over this yesterday, but, um... Considering the impact clamp would have on our deck versus the impact of Finhorn Elves might have... Uh, I think it's pretty low. So. I don't know how Bird Power is tabled. Actually, that was surprising to me as well. I was like, I don't understand. I'm confused. Garrick. Garrick. So I don't see any Titans. Garrick, this guy, Gideon Jura, Gideon Ally of Zendikar. Mystic Confluence is very good. Gruel Signet is pretty good. I honestly probably just want the two drop here. Even though it's a Gruel Signet, it's not great. I spoke to some people to get birds back to you. Doomsday, thanks so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Order doesn't seem great in our deck. I don't... What does Order get? Thrag Tusk, Master, Jade Light Ranger, or Eternal Witness? That seems pretty bad. And we have to have one of these two in order to do it? I don't understand what you guys think we're getting with with Natural Order. We have to sack a green creature to get a green creature. We have like five of each. This is that's the weird this has to be this has to be the weirdest natural order suggestion ever. Gideon Jura is good. I think being able to cast Gideon Jura due to Signets is probably better. Oh, uh, I don't think Pentad Prism is better than Signet. This is an Angel. This is a Titan. Alright, I'm glad there's both in the pack, because I really don't want to take Inferno Titan with our deck. Although we did just get a Gruel Signet to cast it. I'll just take this Angel of Sanctions, because I think it's very good. I think it's a good. I think it's average good. There's no Dragon Step, right? I do have to take this over the, the Dragon, right? Yeah, okay. Seems fine. Alright, I don't see any titans or any any angels here. Or any swords or any power. So I think we're good. I kinda like Search for Mara here to be honest. We do have two red lands, actually. We could cut the cut the blue and be Bant. Or uh Nia rather. It's actually not terrible. It is an option, we'll keep that in mind. I don't think we'll have to do that, but... Alright, no. I'm probably just taking Dissenter's De De Deliverance. Could take Selfless Spirit. It's actually not bad with Sun Titan. And we do have Council Judgment Oblivion Ring, Angel of Sanctions. Um, And... Uh, we had something else for artifacts too, didn't we? I mean, I'd probably take Deliverance over Manglehorn just because it's more versatile, but I'm going to take Selfless Spirit. I 
I like Coercive Portal a lot, actually. I do not see any angels, any titans, or any power, any swords. Okay, I think it's Coercive Portal here. It is like a lotus for your swords. That's actually good. That's good ad marketing. You could be like Lotus or Misha's Workshop. It's like a lotus for your swords. That would I would buy that ad campaign. We can splash the walker. Which walker? Vraska? Tezzeret? I'm just gonna take Course of Portal. We got so we got quite a few cuts to make here. We have Banishing Light. All right, no angels, no no titans. I think we're just taking Stirring Wildwood here. I'd rather just have more fixing, especially because we don't have any white white green fixing. Uh, we're very low on blue right now, so. I can't imagine taking a, a blue card over a beta card. Got Pride Mage, Gaius Cradle. I don't see that making an impact. I wish we were a Cradle deck. I can see cutting blue. I don't love it, but I can see it. I think it's just Pride Mage here. Ooh, I want to cut blue less now. We can actually take Stomping Grounds and then play the the Xenagos over the Jace, which is not great, but... I mean, it's not Joyra. It's not Sphinx's Rev, which I wish it was. It's, it might be Rev. Rev is so good. We only have one blue fixing source, and we don't actually have any internal blue. I'm going to just take the Stomping Ground. I'm not going to be super greedy there. Oh, Gideon Jura comes back. Okay, that's interesting. Look, guys, we have another chance to take Natural Order. The problem with Natural Order is that it restricts you to green creatures. So unless you have uh, fewer Eldrazi and more things like Woodfall Primus, Craterhoof Behemoth, or like Terastodon, uh, you're not really going to be able to cast that reliably. I do like a Throne. I also kind of like a Krakus. It's actually... Pretty useful sometimes. I think it's actually probably better than Thrun, maybe? Wow, Plateau. Alright, so this is pretty sweet. Wow, that is a late workshop, dude. Alright, so the red, the red came pretty easily. I think Absent is regular P. I don't know if it's OP. We can cut you. We can cut you. This is 26 cards. We're probably cutting a 5 drop here. Probably Gideon Jura, realistically. Am I not happy with Unexpected? I'm pretty happy with it, but I like the other card we took over it. Um, Flame Tongue color? Okay. Ditch the blue. I don't think Selfless Spirit makes the cut here. Wow, that is a late Banishing Light. Um, I think we can put one sword in the sideboard, maybe? I don't know. Doomsday, totally up to you. Let me know if I have to play this other sword. I might like Xenagos over this Garrick, actually. Maybe. This makes a 2-2. Two -two. This makes 2-2s. Two this also kills a thing. Actually, Garrick is probably better than Xenagos. Maybe we just maybe we're just green blue. We can play the, the Xenagos and the Cabo for free, but I mean like it, it that doesn't mean they're necessarily worth playing. Like, I'm pretty sure Kavu's just worse than Master of the Wild Hunt. I'm pretty sure Xenagos is just worse than Garrick. My problem is we have a lot of cuts to make already. We're probably cutting one 3-drop and one 5-drop.
Okay, okay. Whatever would make the deck better. All right. Seems good. Seems good. We actually didn't get a ton of Titans. Or a ton of... Well, we got actually three Angels. That's pretty sweet. All right. I almost... In this situation, I almost wish Baneslayer was a Lyra. So that our other Angels could get buffed. Why would I cut Master? Master is great. Master is actually fantastic. I could see cutting Jade Light Ranger, but... It's not moving the search tomorrow. Yeah, I can see cutting Jade Light Ranger. 24 cards, probably one of these three. Probably Gideon Jura. Gideon actually is pretty oppressive. Thrag Tusk doesn't look great? Wow. That is fascinating. This could actually be a 16 land deck. We have three one drops and two signets. I could see playing. I like Selfless Spirit almost better than Voice here. Maybe? Not really. Okay. The sad thing is we have very little fixing when it's not... <laughs> when we're not playing red. I think Thrag Tusk is always good. It's 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 almost impossible to remove. Uh, we have yeah, well, like we have Flicker Wisp and Restoration Angel. I yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's weird. I, I think Thragtusk is just fine at Vintage Cube. I don't think there's any problem with it whatsoever. I think Voice is probably not fine. I also think Garrick is just fine. I think, you, I think you're overestimating the Vintage Cube. So this is not really playable because we don't have anything to really get back other than Search for Tomorrow. Siege Gang is not great. Flame Tongue is not great. Sweltering Sun. So none of our red, like, unfortunately, despite having all this red. Um, it's unfortunate we have all this red mana and nothing to do with it. So this is 24 cards. Yeah, let's do 16 lands. 8 white. No, we're definitely going to go higher green here, especially because we have a Krakus. So this is 8 versus... This is 8, 9, 6, 7, 8... Versus nine. Okay. And we don't have any other secondary colors. Yeah, this seems fine. Let's do this. Let's, let's do it. Why don't we have any green sources in our hand? Angel Swords and Titans are my favorite types of cards. They're all pretty good. They're all pretty good card types. I'm going to maul this hand. No green is pretty rough. This hand is so much better. Turn one bird. If there's a land here, oh, keep it on top. Turn one bird into turn two sword into turn three equip attack. Let's do it. Look, and we have an angel, a sword, and a bird in our hand. Not a not a bird. An angel, a titan, a sword in our hand. Oh, 
Oh, don't have an answer. Play like a forest. Dang it. That's a potential answer. A bird with a sword is pretty much an angel. That's basically the same thing. Oh, we're doing it. Woohoo! What do you got there? What do you got there? Don't get your own sword. That's scary. Oh, the best one, too. Well, they're, they're like two turns away from attacking with it. Next turn, they'll have to put it into play. Turn after that, they can theoretically attack with it. Never mind. It's actually pretty good. So we can go... One, two... Equip you. Never don't have it, do they? What do we got here? Knight of the White Orchid, Impulse, Fact, Teferi. Yep. Well, I guess we're also getting hit. Which is pretty sad. Makes the Sun Titan pretty good, though. I also think we win this race. So. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Give me a land. Well, that's like a land. Angel in the graveyard. That's a, a relevant thing. Is there a point to attacking with the wolf? Probably not. Vendillion click face fetters. Mana crypt? <laughs> sure. Oh, lord. And then we just pass here. Alright, well. This is magic at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. So, as long as we can get one more hit with this guy, we are good to go. Venser is not an option. Any sort of Oblivion Ring effect is good. Pro green. Yep. Baneslayer. Garrick. <laughs> sure. So we can either play Thrag Tusk here and then equip next turn. Or we can... Yeah, we're actually going to play Thrag Tusk here. It's just better use of our mana. They have eight cards in their deck. Sure. Oh, I assume if they had Path in hand, they probably would have Pathed it a while ago. We cannot Angel or Sword. It costs six. We have five. Otherwise, I would love to. All right. No answer for Solemn. Insta block. Six cards left in our deck. That's a good one. So we both actually have the. Uh, that's pretty good. We also have Oblivion Ring in the graveyard, so we can actually Sun Titan get back Oblivion Ring, which is pretty baller. Um. 
We can also Sun Titan get back Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp Sun Titan. It's not Signet. Flicker Wisp, Oblivion Ring, Eternal Witness. Nope. If we had one more mana, we could have also Flicker with their Worm Coil Engine. Yeah, the sword is just scarier, so we're going to get rid of that. I don't really care about Worm Coil Engine here. We can just block with a Flicker Wisp or something, and then we attack with Sun Titan, they just die. Wow, this is a heck of a game. We're also at 19, so I don't feel terrible about just taking six here. Oh, got him. <laughs> what a game. What a game. That was ridiculous. Um, Man, I almost want the other Banishing Light in here, just for that stupid idiot. This is actually, a, I think voice actually seems good here. Um... Actually, Gideon Jura, if they have a sword, is pretty good. So is Fraley's. I could see taking out the Thragtus, but they do have... Actually, they have... Um, what's it called? I can't think of the card's name. The sword... We have so we have Pride Mage, Oblivion Ring, Council's Judgment. Um, and Fraley's and Angel of Sanctions to deal with their sword. Those are all pretty good answers. I'll take S word for 400. I know an anal bum cover when I see one. No, Spirit's really good. They have... We literally saw Supreme Verdict. This hand's a little slow. Alright, this is a slow hand, but their deck is not necessarily very quick, so... I mean, they have Black Lotus, I guess. Skull Clamp. Do they just have six their whole turn? I don't know. They keep a one land hand? No, I guess they have two lands. Oh, Lotus. Seems good. Must be nice, as the kids say. What's that like, getting your Lotus every single game? And 
Drinking Mage. Got a Mox in there in the last five cards that we didn't see. Mana Crypt. Seems good. I have a Kosali Pride Mage that I played off of a Plains and a Forest. I'm just gonna do this, Jobby. <laughs> so we're just gonna we're just gonna equip next turn and try to make it all make it all even again. They have no blue. Well, color me weak because I'll be playing some fair magic here in a second with this sort of body in mind. I want to pop out these graveyards so I can... Oh, did they lose the flip too? Fantastic. Give me a selfless spirit right off the tippity top. Oh, a white creature? That's frustrating. It gets you planes. Do you have a tundra? No? Okay. They're doing a lot of cool things, but here we go. Just an impulse, huh? Okay. Fascinating. I'm always stoked for the even if I have an un, even if I have a broken deck, I'm I'm excited for the the, the crypt flip. The power level of your deck does not it does not uh, affect how excited I get about about them losing three life every single turn. So if we equip, they just block. Or they take three. Pretty sure we're just going to Solemn Simulacrum here. Maybe. I'm probably never blocking this guy, so... But this does force them to block with their, with their knight, so... Uh, we'll pick B, Valley Man. What? They didn't block? So they have Wrath and they have the other one? Wow. Wow. kind of just want to move this over here now, but I don't think there's a real reason to do that. So we'll just keep this guy up, I guess. Oh, they won the flip. Dang it, they're so good at this game. I mean, they can flip Jace, but they can't target my Pride Mage, so... They can, uh, Factor Fiction. Or not Factor Fiction, but uh, Wrath of God, if they'd like. But, I mean, we get to just play Gideon Jura. Seems pretty good. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite wolf tokens, actually. We're going to kill the Skull Clamp if they try to Wrath of God here. Worm coil? It's pretty good. Embodying the spirit of the mana crypt. <laughs> Flip B is for bits. <laughs> I wonder what A was for. 
Valley Man, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, pretty sure we're just playing Gideon, making everything attack Gideon. But then again, if they do Wrath, I want to be able to keep this guy up. So we're actually going to play Solemn here. They're, actually, they're three turns away from dying, so that's pretty cool. But I guess they gain life, so... A is for also bits. Okay. Solid. Solid. We have a lot of answers to a Wormcoal engine. We just have to find them. Uh, I don't want to sack my Kasali Pride Mage just yet because that seems bad. Actually, a bird is pretty good. What if we draw a bird selfless spirit? Then we can go bird selfless spirit voice. That seems pretty good. All right, so they're probably not wrathing anytime soon, which is pretty interesting. Or in this case, dollars. <laughs> Valley Man, appreciate it, buddy. Always appreciate it. We have a good time. I feel like I got like four new subs at the beginning of the stream, and it's still at, at the same number that we started with, which is pretty comical to me. What are they doing here? Are they shuffling? Chose to shuffle. Get that random shuffle in. Played an island. Okay, so you have one card in hand. That's good to know. Why don't you just choose no creatures to do that too? I was going to make a 320 blaze of joke, actually. That's pretty funny. Why wouldn't you put it on this monk? That seems pretty good, actually. You have two mana, one card. Exile another target permanent or turn the permanent to the battlefield. If we exile this, it just comes back as Baby Jace, right? We can exile this token. We could also play Gideon, kill the Worm Coil engine. One, two, three, four, five. We can also just play all three of these. And still keep up a mana for, for the thing. See you later. Bye. Actually, going to attack your face, probably. Actually, what's Jace Emblem? Nine? Oh, boy. Yeah, attack your face. Like, you have to block with Monastery Mentor, then you draw two, you go to... You go to nine cards in your deck, which makes you dead on board. Took another two.
They might have to wrath here, which means we get to voice of resurgence. This is eight. I think we can go to three pretty safely here against the blue white deck. What match is this? This is the green white match versus the blue white match. Yep. They are priced into wrathing. Oh, and they have no answer to the elemental token. Oh boy, got him. That is some gas. Man, Vintage Cube is good times. What a time to be alive. Oh, this... Oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Keep it. Birds and swords and birds and swords and birds and swords and birds and swords and birds and swords. Birds and swords and birds and swords and birds and swords and birds and swords. Well, this is the scariest matchup for us, but I got a sword on board. Salty, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I refuse to believe you have three mana and no no answer to this. Oh, you're just making a pack rat. This seems like it's slower than it needs to be. So we can either go Gruel Signet, make a guy, or Findhorn Elves. I think we want Signet, actually. Because this is going to make a guy, so. Maskerum. That's a good one. Aleshnorn. Oh, God. They're going to be reanimating. Oh, we put it on Barrel Rights in their graveyard. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, that's more interesting than actually just playing the Aleshnor, the the the, the, the unburial rights that was already in your graveyard. So, if we draw land, actually, we can go exile Aleshnorn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's gonna whiff. Actually, land here would be great. I'm glad we went with Signet instead of come on land one time. Yes. And we're going to get rid of Aleshnorn. Actually, yeah, we're going to get rid of Aleshnorn because we don't... If you get rid of this, the animate dead, you can just reanimate it again. Yes. I mean, they haven't burrowed its Bone Shredder, so it's not the best, but... But then if we draw another land, we can do it again. And then we're probably dead at that point, though, so... Oh, I see. Actually, we don't have to draw... Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Four... Yep, that's that's game. That was a pretty good game. It felt better than it was, I think. All right. All right. I don't think we actually want Body and Mind anymore. I think we just want Banishing Light, for obvious reasons. Uh, duplicant seems pretty okay here. All right, all right.
Craft Digger's Cage seems good. Names are not my best part. I'm pretty sure you just don't like Garrick, so you'll use any excuse to not have a Garrick. Um, Garrick seems fine. It kills a pack rat. It kills a uh, kite sail freebooter. It does a lot of different things. And, like, just because if they play a Leshnorn, sure, it's not very good. But, I mean, it has its uses otherwise, especially if you can hit it on turn three. All right, all right, all right. What up, Jay Loot? Garrick doesn't kill their fatties, but neither does Coercive Portal, so maybe that's not very good. Neither does Psalm Simulacre, maybe that's not very good. Flicker Wisp doesn't kill him, so I can get rid of that. Uh... <laughs> Admit the guilt. <laughs> good times, good times. Actually, maybe I just want to bring in this Phantasmal image. That seems good, right? Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Um, uh, you're over here. Actually, I don't think I like the Findhorn Elves in this matchup. To be fair, um, I'm gonna submit like this, but I am gonna add one one uh, search for one. Add one island for the search. Yeah, that seems good. Well, that's not the best hand ever. This hand is not fantastic, but I don't know if we can go to five here. We have two signets, a search, and a bird, so we actually have a good amount of... Bottom. Yeah, we definitely should add an island. Agreed with you. A Boots and Cats deck? That's that's actually pretty hilarious. Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats. Boots and Cats and Boots and Cats and Pack Rats and Pack Rats and Pack Rats. Every game. I wish I could draw my, like, mana elves as consistently as they draw their pack rats. Yeah, we got our first trophy yesterday. What do you think this is, amateur hour? I'm a professional Magic the Gathering player, my friend. They're actually their mill their their reanimate deck looks pretty sick. Like they could literally just discard Unburial Rights Alesh Norn here, Unburial Rights Grave Titan. Yeah, those are pretty unexciting. Oh, I think this is amateur hour. Alright, well that's unfortunate. I'm a big Gonti fan. Is that better? They attack her with Gonti, she goes back down to three. Seems good. Oh, Flicker with Gonti sounds legit. Let's do that. Gristlebrand and Shield Red. Which one is coming back? 
Gristlebrand most most assuredly. Sheoldred. Do they know what Fraley's does? Sure. If we draw land, we're probably just exiling Fraley's. All right, that seems fine. Or exiling. Why didn't they? They didn't attack either. This is all very strange. Don't you just get Gristlebrand and then draw seven cards? You're at 20 life. That was a very weird choice. I guess they, they they were so greedy they just wanted to get Shieldred and then untap and get Gristlebrand the next turn. Mm, prefer you don't do that. Do they not know what this did? I feel like if your opponent plays a Planeswalker, you're, it's in your best interest to read the Planeswalker. Uh, Shieldred's, it's not even a matter of being greedy because we have the answer on the board. <laughs> like, what? It is a lot of taking all at once. I agree. I made misplays left and right yesterday. Um, and, and you know, it's for, for none other than the fact that there's a lot, a lot going on. Yeah, that seems pretty okay. I'm displeased at how much this how much work this uh this Gonti's doing against us. Give me that elf boy. I'm just gonna attack here. If you wanna if you wanna block with Gonti, that's totally fine. Un there you go, they figured it out. Yep, not blocking that for sure. Faux show. So we have six mana. We can actually Angel of Sanctions this guy. Either way, it's going back to the graveyard. Put them to two here? Seems pretty good. I guess we could put them to three and just play sword, but we can do that next turn too, right? So. Um, we're not gonna destroy an artifact or enchantment. We're just gonna play this guy. They have 10 cards in hand, that's pretty good. Put you to three, I guess. I mean, I assume they have Shieldred. They go discard Shieldred. Kills everything but the Thrag Tusk. We have a duplicate, but we have to hit a land for that. We can Angel of Sanctions it. If we Angel of Sanctions it, they're dead, which is actually pretty good. One. Oh, Mascorum. That'll do it. That'll do it. Actually, Thrag Tusk lives. I don't know. There's a lot going on in this game. This is a game where you can't really predict what they're going to do until they actually do it because they're doing a lot of things. Mascorum is pretty good. Shieldered is. Not Shieldered, uh, Aleshnorn. I think I was saying Shieldered, but I meant Aleshnorn. I'm not sure. Like I said, there's a lot going on. Yep, old hee haw mouth. I'll take six. I assume you'll attack the the frailies, or you won't. Either way, seems good. Hmm. 
Seven cards in hand. Angel of Sanctions is pretty good against Gaunti here. I mean, if we attack here... They have to block, which puts Masquerum in the graveyard. This is a weird deck where, like, having the creatures in play is almost better than having them in the graveyard. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, well, in tomb. Sure. Aleshnorn. Okay, that kills one thing. That's not terrible, because you still die if you will Eshnorn here. Jesus. There's a lot of... You have six cards left in the deck? This is ridiculous. Ace is ridiculous, it is. That's an old... Old-timey British accent. Una's Prowler. That is a solid creature to have in your... In your... Reanimator deck, for sure. Exhume. Ooh, what's it gonna be? I think it's actually just Thrag Tusk. What's the worst they can hit? Maskworm? Okay. That kills one guy. Aleshnorn kills one guy. Shield, we don't care about. I'm just gonna get the Thrag Tusk back. Yep, that seems fine. How are you not dead here? Sure. Gonti gets back. Now we just counsel's judgment your Leshnorn? Alright. Got him. I'll vote for Leshnorn. That'll do. All right. <laughs> Where's your graveyard, man? I actually like voice here because uh, we're bringing things back. God, Phantasm Image is still very, very good. Garrick? I mean, Garrick as a Planeswalker seems actually great in this matchup because they go to they massacre on your board or whatever, and then you can just start making guys again. Like, they don't have a way to deal with Planeswalkers themselves. They have a way to put creatures on the board, but... A uh, flicker to reset the angel to eat the Elesh would have worked, but they would have gotten Gonti back. So I'd rather them not just get Gonti back. And also, if you flicker, like, the flicker was immediately dies because, obviously, it comes into play. It's negative two, negative two before you are you end up killing the uh, the Elesh Norn. So, um, so it, short, long answer short, it would have, would have worked, but uh, they would have there would have been some unforeseen benefits to that. I think I actually... Nah, I turn one is good against Council's Judgment. Selfless Spirit actually probably not great here. Yeah, that seems fine. We actually just took out we just took out sort of body and mind. <laughs> I, I mean, either way, no matter what, this stipulation draft actually turned out pretty well. We're up a, up a match and we're one one. So, uh, this actually seems like a great hand. This is a turn three Baneslayer, which seems pretty good for us. Or a turn three Frailies, right? Keep. Our opponent's name is a ton of butts, which is pretty hilarious. Zaxor, five months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. We do have to hit... A third land, but presuming that happens. Either way, it's still a turn three course of portal, which they should have a problem dealing with. It's actually a, 
Every game, literally every game, turn two pack rat. Seems good. I guess if they mulligan to it, it's uh, it's one way to do it. What kind of theme is Angel Swords and Titans? Um, just the theme that the the creator of the stipulation. They're they're some of his favorite cards to collect. Um, a grand student. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So, Bane Slayer Angel seems like a pretty good clock here. I'll be honest with you, this seems like a pretty good. I wish this was not non angel. Like she can't. I like that she can't save her friend. Yeah, we're just gonna Bane Slayer here. No. Whew. That's always so, so scary, dude. <laughs> Uh, turn two pack right every game. Must be a big fan. Hey man, it's uh it's an honor to play against you. Big fan. Uh, turn two pack right every game. Go ahead. Just don't have bone shredder, I guess. Oh, we held back the blocks. The attacks. But they can make another. We have to actually try to race this. One two three four. One two. Keep if Carnage gets more votes, sacrifice of course Portal Strong. If Watch gets more votes, the rest tie draw a card. They're never gonna say Carnage, I don't think. It might actually be Solemn here. It gives us a good block. Uh, unfortunately, they're gonna make a guy and then make another guy, right? There's something we have to consider. Yeah, it's gotta be Solemn here. Let's get that island. So they're going to make a guy, then make a guy. And they're going to have three four fours. We can block one. We take eight. That's rough. I <laughs> see the Frank Lord special has carried over in other formats. Maybe so. Makeshift on a Leshnorn. Well, boy, that's always fun, isn't it? Yes, we'll take 15. Something to target a Leshnorn, please. Yep, that's not going to do it. They literally cast three spells this game. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Never fails. All right, good times. Sweet mold to pack right a Leshnorn. Man, I actually felt good about those matches because they both both of the both of the games um, felt really back and forth and really interactive, and then they just go pack rat, discard a Leshnorn, reanimate a Leshnorn, kill you, and. Uh, then I felt worse because you know there were there were some high highs and then the low lows came. So that's good times. Wow, this hand is just fantastic. Is there a sword on the top? That might make this worth it. I have my doubts. Keep this for the green. Oh, boy. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how Magic the Gathering goes. I don't think a large percentage of the games are not interactive. I don't think that's true at all. I think that's... Um, I think that's exaggerated.
I think if, if a fairly large percentage of your games are interactive, you are not drafting correctly, and you're not getting a lot of the sideboard cards that you need. Oh yeah, of course a larger percentage than say on common cues, but I don't think I like even a storm deck. You're you're very easy. It's very easy to interact with storm decks. Like, well, there's always a non-zero amount of some games that. If you had a removal spell and you didn't kill the bird on the spot, I'm I'd be surprised. So. Wow. Well, that's good. That's a good one. Rakdos Signet. Okay. Well, if that was any of the land, that'd be good. They have four cards, and they missed a land drop. That's pretty okay so far. Pepperidge Farm. Much, much better statement. I appreciate that. Uh, I find less power cues to be more fun. Saying a fairly large percentage was, as you said, a little much. That being said, I do find vintage cue to be more fun. I agree with all of your points. All of those points I agree with. Love through the beach. Big tan. <laughs> Oh, God. Everyone is wonderful. Oh, wow, look at this. Would you look at that? A mountain. You got a little mountain in the zone. I think I'm just going to Fraley's and destroy the Rakdos signet. That seems good, right? Oh, no, we're doing another thing. We're doing a different thing now, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to play old Sunny T here. Sunny T and the boys. You got another you got another forcible? You got a daze, don't you? You don't have either? Okay. Well I feel bad for you, son. You got ninety nine problems, but a daze is uh certainly not one of them. I got 99 problems and a day's ain't one. Inferno Titan? We got four mana? Nah, B. I ain't about that Inferno Titan life. You're playing base, base blue red? And I got a sword of fire and ice? Seems good. Is Sima okay? <clears throat> oh, a little hangerback walker. That's fine. I'll just put the thing on this. One, two, one, two, three, four. We're one away from like playing. I want to Fraley's and kill their stupid Rakdos segment, but it's probably just more important to. One, two. We'll have one, two, three left over. We can also put it on here, but then they just block with Hanger Backwalker, right? That seems worse. I really want to get in the hit. We also get to draw a card, so let's see what that does. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun. I say. This actually forces them to block, which is nice, because then we can shoot a token if we'd like, or we can shoot the Chandra. And if we draw a land off the top, Master of the Wild Hunt is a pretty good follow-up. Yeah, I don't know why this this doesn't seem like a question. You just gotta... Do-do-do-do It's been a long, cold, lonely winter brr, 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 brr. I'm actually just gonna kill this Delver of Secrets. That was a good draw. Oh, 
I mean, I assume they're just going to kill this, but that also still denies them a card, so. Five mana. That's pretty good. Probably going to play Siege Gang Commander or something. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I just work here. Here comes the sun. I say here. That was the presumed response. It's pretty good. I have a Fraley's, however. So I'm gonna... Oh, wow. That's greedy. We could actually destroy this, attack you. That doesn't do much, though. We don't want you to have Frost Sun Titan. That seems a little bad. Eh, we're going to attack your face. You're going to block. Seems fine. We lose Fraley's, but seems like a pretty fair trade. I don't see a benefit to not playing this guy, so. Why doesn't Fraley's cost three or less? I have a feeling you're going to exile a card here. Oh, they added two. Intriguing. <sighs> yeah, that was a good choice. Well, that's something. That is something. Well, that's also pretty good. Pretty sure Karn Liberate is the guy we got to deal with here. O Ring and the Thopter would probably been, would have been better, but um, yeah, O Ring and the Thopter would have been good. But we're also going to attack with Stirring Wildwood, so I mean, we should be able to kill both of these. Attack uh, Chandra. Attack Chandra. And attack Chandra. So if we block here, it dies. But that's totally fine because we can just get you back with... Uh... Yeah, it would have been better to kill the Thopter, actually. But... Okay. You don't even want to trade? I see. Yes, it makes into the row kind of bounce effects pretty awkward. Yes, it does. That's why it was a mistake. <laughs> That's that is why. Thank you. That is why we are not uh, agreeing that it was the correct thing to do. You don't have anything to do last turn. I'm actually pretty sure we can profitably kill your Rakdos signet here.
They have one card, so... If you didn't have something to do with six mana, then... I feel comfortable that you don't have anything to do with seven mana. Or, you know, that, that you have to draw something that you can either play this turn. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so you're playing red-blue. Some nonsense. Voice of Resurgence is probably very good here. Planeswalker, dude. Obviously, both of these swords are pretty solid here. Uh, I don't think War and Peace is actually ever good against red. I'd always rather just have Sword of Fire and Ice. And I'd, I'd rather have Fire and Ice over War and Peace. And I don't want to add both. We also didn't see any like red removal other than like Flame Tongue Kabo and Chandra. Uh, Gideon might not do too much, but it does attack Planeswalkers. I do like Banishing Light. Like, we saw Control Magic, we saw two Planeswalkers. What is this? What am I clicking on here? It's rain and tacos. Oh my god, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if raining tacos will actually help. I I mean, you know what? Maybe. Maybe it will. It's hard to say. This hand's pretty slow. It's not bad, though. Sword of Fire and Ice is pretty okay. Now we got a bunch of tacos to clean up. I want to keep this based on the strength of sword and the fact that we have a bunch of one and two drops that we could potentially draw within the first two turns. First raisins, now tacos. Yeah, it's a real mess. It's a real hot mess. Like, this card's MVP against them, so I'm not really... Alright, well... I caught your Phil Bronte sisters joke on YouTube, and I just wanted to know you. I want you to know I laughed. <laughs> oh, as an English major, I also caught the joke and did not laugh. It was good though. It was okay. Well, this is pretty terrifying. Well, we have about three, maybe four outs, right? Council's Judgment. Yes! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, boy. You don't even know, dude. You don't even know. Non-interactive formats, you say. <sighs> Never didn't have it. Universe is a simulation, etc., etc. The universe is 100% a simulation, my friends. They voted for the token? Well, sometimes you just have it all, don't you? Wow. Yeah, you, you say the Blightsteel, I'll say the token. So I'll, I'll, get, I'll just sweep them all up. Just get, get rid of them all. That was amazing. 
I was about to say, this is an example of how the format is not interactive. Way to make me eat my words. Well, you know, you know what they say. I will definitely use the ability to draw a card. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, the old uh, turn five Delver of Secrets, huh? A classic. That is a classic. So it's turn five, they're missing a land drop. Do we just actually Angel of Sanctions their Rakdos Signet? It feels, it feels weird, but I think we do. What's the worst thing they do? Get rid of Angel of Sanctions? All right, I'll replay it. I don't like Sword Voice. I want to keep them off their lands here. So, plus this guy just doesn't get blocked by anything. I will use the Angel of Sanctions ability. Wow, that Blight Steel Colossus, man, that was gas. Uh, if we Frailies it, Frailies goes to one, and then it dies to Delver of Secrets. So then we just lose our Frailies. Well, that's unfortunate, but I accept your terms. Boy, I sure wish we had more... Uh... One, two, three, four. Actually, we can go Voice Frailies. That seems good. Nope, that's not going to do it. I mean, so long as Delver doesn't flip here. I like Wildwood Chandra voice. There's a lot of different plays we can make. That's the thing about that's the thing about Vintage. That's the one thing I do like about Vintage Cheap is that there's tons of different things you can do on any given turn. This is interesting. Why did it take so long? I would have I would have played voice over that rather than than play sword. If we don't have a guy on board to put put a sword on, why does sword matter? I'd rather have a voice and then we can just play sword, equip, and attack. But the best thing about playing voice though and then having sword out is that uh, no, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We have enough mana to Angel of Sanctions, Frost Titan, and then Frailies dies. That's sad. I was actually wondering if it was a flip to hide Force of Will, but that seems kind of silly. Course of Portal seems pretty good. One, two, three. We're... Oh, we can actually... Act... Oh, this is actually pretty good. This is what we're going to do here. Attack your face. Uh, shoot your Chandra. Yeah, doesn't the Angel Sanction target thing cost extra? Right, which is why we have eight. Four, eight. So, we get to, we'll, we'll deal with it. So it seems like they don't have Force of Will. Factor Fiction is a good one. Or they have Force of Will and a grip full of cards. I guess we'll take nine here, which is a lot, but, you know. I hope they factor fiction during our turn with force, Voice of Resurgence out. That's really what I want you to do. I mean, we're going to untap Angel of Sanctions or Frost Titan, which seems pretty good. They could have an answer, but one, two, three, four, five, six. If we actually, we have enough mana to Angel of, Angel of Sanctions, Frost Titan, and then sort it. If they play Factor Fiction this turn, which is pretty sweet. Oh, they didn't. Oh, wow, this is great. This also isn't casting it, right? So they can't Force of Will this part.
Let's do the time warp again. Glad you can catch live. Really appreciate it. I will pay too. Resolve one time. Don't have a bounce spell. Don't have a four damage spell. Don't have a thing. Just let it just let it just let it work. Let it work out. Yes. Yes, the best. Why wouldn't you do this in response in case like um Okay. I don't care about your counter spell at this point, especially when we have voice of resurgence out. Um I'm gonna split it like this. You'll never be able to cast this, and I don't care about this. If you want the lands, you can have the lands. No, we'll put Titan Counterspell together. You can counter either of these. I'll play Pride Mage. You can counter that if you want. And then I get a, a Voice of Resurgence token. Like, I, at no point do I ever care about Counterspell and have Voice of Resurgence out. Like, they just gave me a free 3-3. Okay, so they took those two. Interesting. So this does resolve. All right, we got a 5-6 Pro Red, Pro Blue. Let's see what happens. I'm okay with it. I will block. No? Nothing? Nothing at all. Let's play this guy. You're probably not going to counter it, but we're going to get a free... Uh, a free thing. And this guy's a 4-4 now, so now we actually have lots of things. Oh boy, we're just gonna shoot the Delver? Man, I feel like it's better to block, that, right? Like, that seemed like a situation where you would've been better suited to block. Is this a thing you'd like to counter? Well, I clearly am not having a... Oh, right. Well, they can't block the, I'm not saying block the guy, I'm saying block the voice token, which is four damage. I'm obviously not saying block the angel. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Nature's Little Treasure, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was a pretty sweet stip. I was surprised the deck did so well, especially in the Vintage Cube, because it's basically like a mid-range attacking deck. Um, turns out swords are pretty powerful, and uh, so are ex exiling effects like Banishing Light and Council's Judgment, etc. But, uh, yeah, check out my Patreon page. I just posted a new article today uh, for uh, the Indomitable Creativity deck in Standard, which is pretty sweet. So if you guys are interested in that, you can check that out. And link is in the description. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.